<laughs> All right. Pac-Man versus Lucina. Sinji versus Mystery. I feel like this is standard viewing for House of 3000 regulars, but if you're if you're in for the first time, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. Sinji definitely makes this character look really fun to watch, or also really boring. It, de it really does depend on who he's fighting. But a player like like E is someone who you're going to see him be very dynamic with his zoning. He's going to cycle through bonus fruit quite often. He's not going to really be able to sit down in one spot for too long. If you're ever going to see him like establish zone, it's going to only be around the fire hydrant and only for a small amount of time. Yeah. Mystery definitely likes to prevent people from having space to operate. Did he up be out of hit stun against something? I definitely oh. saw Pac-Man with like that, he has that face on him. I feel like Pac-Man's one of the most emotive characters in the game. And like, he'll just he's get hit. Circle. Like, he's, he's super so concerned though. He gets hit, he's like, oh god. <laughs> you know I mean, like it took like 3%. He's just a circle. Like, he wants to eat fruit and gets chased by supernatural beings known as ghosts. We don't really know if power pellets are fruit. What's the other fruit that he gets? Well, he doesn't eat the bell or the key, he collects them. Which leads me to believe he collects cherries and oranges and whatnot. Why he collects fruit is beyond me, but like... Ooh. Hey, if it gets you results! Why not? You just throw a bell at someone, they just stand there, like, shocked for like a good second. I feel like that'd be the appropriate reaction, though, right? Like... Like, if someone threw a key at you that's the size of your femur, you're going places. <laughs> you're absolutely hitting the ground. If someone threw an apple at your head, yeah, you're going to be concerned, too. The Hydra messed up the dancing game. A melon would definitely put someone in shock. <laughs> the melon would hurt. Like, that would be the one that legitimately hurts yeah, someone. Yeah, that's like throwing a medicine ball full of juice at someone. Like, you're downing a man with a melon if you throw it at the right spot. Man down. We got a man That's for a bell. If you hit someone like, the ear, like, you, you hear it make contact with you. That's a big bell, too. That's easily, like, twice the size of Lucina's head. Yeah. But she has every right to stand there until Pac-Man runs up on her. On her. Is he just swinging at him and it's working? Mystery does. Ooh, guess the counter. You know, I don't think I've seen him do that to Pac-Man yet. He's done it to a lot of characters, but Pac-Man typically doesn't have, like, yeah. an exploitable hitbox when it comes to recovery. Yeah, because he usually just has a trampoline. Like, you usually use that to get into position to use the trampoline from B to prevent people from being able to go out there and counter on you. Oh, I feel like this is just the nature of finding mystery. Like, sometimes he'll just wake up. Yeah. Like, he can get exploited by his opponents, and then other times he's just, like, all over you. You have no say in the matter. You hold all that damage. No stage control. Less stocks. Are you using the items? Hey, that's what I tell everyone. Like, if you're gonna fight someone, if you know you're fighting against someone who summons an item, know how that item impacts your matchup. Ooh. Know what happens when you take that item away from someone. Know how your character can use that item. Because sometimes you get to do some cool things. I got Mystery waited for the Hydrant to push him closer to the ledge so he could just throw it through a Sinji off the stage. There's the most clutch I've ever seen Sour Spot Dare come in. Send it back at him. Return to sender, but it's not going to be killing just yet. Doing a fine job of racking up damage and maintaining a static lead. Alright, gets in there. That that apple went through all of that. Back here, out of shield. Yep. yep. Alright. <laughs> Game one going in favor of E. Pretty handedly, I would say, too. Like, E has been doing a great job of just coasting through his matches at like a consistent skill level. Yeah. All right. Final destination is the pick and under normal circumstances, I would say that this is a solid pick for Sinji, but this is against Mr. E who performs really well on final destination. So like, yeah. I can honestly see this being a 2-0 close for, for E. Yeah. I don't want to be the downer in the situation for Sinji fans, but he has a really good record on FD, and he usually fights on it often. Yeah, I definitely see him take a lot of people here. But if Sinji turtles hard enough, make a believer out of me. He's starting to lay on this damage real early. 
people forget that Pac-Man has no issue with dealing damage like that. Like, outside of the goofy things the character is well known for, he's got good normals. Yeah. Like, he's got discount snake down air. He's got, like, a real forward air in there. His back air also kills in certain situations. Up air is pretty mediocre. But, like, one for five is not bad. Nah, that's not bad at all. His kid's really good. And it works together really well, too. Like, Pac-Man, in my opinion, is probably one of the most well-designed characters in Smash. Just because there's so much that's going on, and it all happens to work. Although, I am going to put work in, like, a hot little asterisk there, because we definitely joked about his grab for a solid three years, and... That's a different version. This is I look, a new I look, version. I look at the Fire Hydrant in this game, and I'm really trying to figure out if they really designed water fit, like, wind box physics well. Are you able to get off the ledge here? They've just been duking it back and forth. They're taking it coast to coast this entire game. Ooh. And it's Sinju's going to be coming out on top. Look at that back there. That, that trampoline on stage. It's like Mr. says, I'm going to stand behind this. <laughs> you do what you want on it's that. It's so dangerous. <laughs> That's like one of the few tools in Pac-Man's kit you can't really have counterplay for. Like, trampoline on stage is just... There. Yeah. Counter. And that'll kill once again. He's trying to get the down air off of that. Falling up air saves him. Oh, here we go. That's the damage. Although, the back air might have been a miss input. I feel like air or up air would have been able to catch properly yeah. in the combo. Grab release again from Mystery. Super high recovery from Sinji works out for him, especially with the Fire Hydrant on center stage. All right, we're going to poke at the Hydrant. And I like it. That's another thing that you have to pay attention to with Pac-Man is not just, like, Fire Hydrants existing there, but, like, know what in your kit is going to be able to remove it. It's got a decent amount of health. If I remember correctly from Sinji, it's, like, 18 and a half percentage worth of health. It's fairly substantial. Yeah. As far as this knockback is concerned. So, like, no what in your kid is able to safely remove it. Like, you see E is consistently just getting narrowed it down to removing it from the equation. Gap attack, he's gonna create some space for himself. Oh boy, he's gonna get hit by that hydrant. Okay, okay, okay. This is very good at knowing, like, all right, if I do this, I can send the Hydrant in this direction. I can do this, I can send the Hydrant in this direction. Very oh, yeah, good. Sinji's masterful when it comes to how to actually use this higher Hydrant. He's masterful with everything with this character. He sits in the lab, practicing his combos, practicing. All right, I can do this and this. All right, and we've got tie stocks. It's been a bit of a messy ride getting to this point, but, like, the FD pick, I feel like, it's, it's working out for the most part from Sinji. We haven't seen E really take advantage of the... Uh, the pros of this stage, that being like being able to catch on bad landings, juggle forever, lock someone down at the ledge. Like so it's been a very cat and mouse kind of game. Yeah. You know? So he's been doing a good job getting out of the juggles. He's been, he's been throwing out that hydrant below him, I'm trying to swipe at him with the photo. Ooh. Ooh, caught him. Oh, that caught a jump too. I think. Is nice. Yeah. Back, back. Yeah. So we three. three. There he is. This is the boy. Walk that was a man. very nicely played end to game two for yeah. Sinji. Alright. So. Like, actually, can we get a replay on that last kill sequence? I want to see, like, what move was the one that took the, the stock. Back in there. So. Yeah, he caught the jump with uh, forward smash, so we never see E land back fair, on the ground. Yeah. Fair seals the deal. And even with the air dodge from like out deep, Lucina's not coming back. All right, nice. All right, here we go. Pokemon Stadium 2, game number three. I just realized, with Sinji using Fair as an anti air move, it's like. It's almost like a discount sword. <laughs> it's like the, the my, weirdest my favorite possible. Sword like. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to continue this line of thought. Stadium 2. Nah. I guess the platform is making it a little bit more difficult for Sinji to establish a solid zone of control, but at the same time, like, you know where he's going to be putting his Hydrant, and it's still going to be annoying because there's good spots for him to put Hydrant. Mystery was able to catch him out of that trampoline there and just scare him out of it. 
I find down air scary. So this is very similar to snakes. Just covers a lot of ground. Like keeps them up too. It also pops them forward. Like it, it has good potential for killing. It's just a strange move. Yeah. So you're threatening the ground there with the that. That's what we were, what I was expecting to see a little bit more of earlier from uh, from A. It is threatening space. Cena's able to do that. She's got that big stick, the falchion, the dragon tooth. Ooh! Yo, if he just went for up smash, he could have had all of it. Even forward smash. It might be too high for forward smash to catch. Nah, that move is older as hell. That would have absolutely gone. No, that was that was good for Mystery. Like, use the belt to his advantage. Well, it was a really quick sequence. That's the part that got me excited. In fact, he tried I, doing dancing blade in the nair. Like, yeah, no, I don't I mean, think he realized that he got the <laughs> the stun. Either way, he manages to take the first stock for game three. So, important stage setter. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. <laughs> Intense neutral. See, I like that from, like, just the ability to just realize, like, all right, should we probably approach and just kind of stand here and wait for them to do something? That's something that I think a lot more people need to, like, start doing is, like, just taking things a lot more slower than, <laughs> instead of just going in on people. Just move in on Pac-Man sometimes. Yeah. It, it'd be like that. All right, the trampoline able to get him out of that situation. Tries to get the second fair. I want him to get the second fair on both of those. In one way or another, he did get E from one side of the stage to the other. He did do that. It didn't last for too long in his favor, but like, damn. He didn't need to give him all that respect. All right. Tried to catch him with the F smash there. Wasn't able to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, it's you look so at this goofy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is designed exactly as, as it works. Everything is perfect here. <laughs> Nothing is wrong. All right. This is a hydrant off stage. The slower approach has definitely been working out well for Sinji. Yeah. Like, I brought this uh, up when we were coming into the set, where it's like, Sinji, he, he doesn't often, like, camp, but, like, he's willing to, and he's good at it. Ooh. Punches his up smash with F smash with F smash. I like it. Ooh. We're too low, and ooh, we're back. just barely. Magnets. The, the safety bell. bell. I like that, though. Like, it occupied the space that he wanted to be in, because then he couldn't get the kill. But Did the hydrant push him? He comes back to catch the, the fair. All right, since you got the bell online, that doesn't pick up on the ledge, does it? I think I think he, he was like maybe hoping uh, Mister E would not snap to the ledge perfectly. I hate that sometimes. I look at this character and I'm like, why do you know the things you can do? You stop existing, small yellow circle man. He's not small. He is, he's a big circle man. You're right. Look at him. He is just as tall as Lucina. That's an 11-year-old girl. Time travel out of the way. Do you know how tall Lucina is? I have the art book. Wait, give me a minute here. Well, you don't have the book on hand. My point being is that look how <laughs> tall he is. It's not a small circle. He's big boy. Big orb. Oh <laughs> god, and he's comboing with cherries. My man's is out here right now. It's not even the wildest thing Pac-Man can do. I just haven't seen it happen in forever. Yeah. Cherry is like the most mediocre item you can get out of bonus fruit. The only cool thing about it is that it's the fastest option. I think that's 13 or 16. I would have to double check. I don't know. Because that's like presuming that you summon it and then instantly toss it. Yeah. Alright, there's on the hydrant. So you're able to weave around it and still get the fair. Another grab release. I guess it's just doing a check to see like what someone's response is going to be. Oh Dolphin my lord, we haven't seen that in a hot minute. DP. Oh no, what are you doing down there? He's back. 
I, worry. I'm just saying, like, messing deep at the ledge with Sinji while well, you've got a decent chunk of percentage on you is probably not what yeah, you want to do. Yeah, it's a scary position to be in, definitely. Because remember, there's a game three situation with only two minutes left on the clock. Guess the Nair sends him the other way. All right, we're below the stage. Tech. Good tech. I think that tech actually saved him. It did. Up throw, still not enough. This isn't Smash 4. We, yeah, don't, no, that, we don't kill That him actually too. doesn't kill until like the mid 180s. And that's going to do it. That would kill him plenty easy, though. So just like that, it's a 2 1 in favor of Mr. A. Yep. A little bit of a slow drive, but made it work. Yep. Right? Yeah, we, we got there. We don't got to worry about slow matches anymore, right? Nah.